Number six. North Carolina State is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Knights' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. First and 10, ball on the 37. Here we go, here we go, here we go. go. 15. Let's go. Run, run, run. They go with the run. Taken down at the 39-yard line. Brings him down. Nowhere to go on the delay. We've got third and eight. Ball in their own 39. Great run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Excellent punt. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's tackled at the 22. Loss of three on the play. Brings up second and 13. From their own 22 yard line. Second down. Four down, four down. Mike 41. Get to that quickly. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. So he got it up for the first down there. Yep, nice call to run the ball there on third down. I like it. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. complete he's got room to work tackle at the 48 yard line watch it all going deep it's intercepted Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. From their own 27-yard line, first down. He's to the 40, and he hits him hard at the 42. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Taken down around the 43 yard line. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. Yeah, we got time 
from the 43 yard line. It's first down. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He gets hit out of bounds at the 24 yard line. From the 24 yard line. First down. I'm, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. He goes out of bounds at about the 21. That'll make it second to seven. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 24. He's looking for six. So they don't pick up a first down here on third down, setting up this fourth down. Now, a smart decision here, in my opinion, by a coach, is to get points. You don't want to take too many calculated risks here when you're trying to go for it all the time on fourth down. Get the points while you can. And he splits the uprights. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 3 nothing. UCF. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He's out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third and five. Ball on the 30. A little toss across the middle. And they make the stop right around the 34. Good possession there for the defense. That'll bring up fourth and one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's pushed out of bounds around the 31-yard line. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on 34. Central Florida he is up a field goal. Here he goes. And he is drilled at the 48. First down. Quarter. The Knights with a three point lead. That'll bring up second and three. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. And down he goes at about 
the 45. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 30. Central Florida is up by three. Red to it. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. This is the eighth play of this drive. scramble but he's sacked third down and they need to get it down to the 20 delivers to the halfback on the screen Brought down at about the 33-yard line. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Fred, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That brings us second and nine. They picked a good time to go with that call. It didn't seem like the defense was ready for it. And they'll move the chains. It's a fumble. The offense falls on it. The defense was that close to coming up with a big play. Yeah, they tried to get a little bit too fancy there on that option play. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. You're going to 88. You're going to 88. Ready. Check, check. 98 weasel. 98 weasel. Quick pass. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. Number 26 on the tackle at the 38-yard line. That makes it 37. He gets rid of this one, so that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Whoa, he just took a lick it. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. 
Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 33. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Gets to about the 24-yard line. it out to him again. That's a great tackle at the 17. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination to get it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. The 10, the 5. Touchdown, Pack. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 34-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. So the score now, 7-6. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. The Knights will use their first time out of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. Got a man. Watch out here. He's knocked out of bounds around the 45-yard line. receiver and he tackles him hard at the 22 yard line first down from the 22 yard line first down down immediately. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Red two. Excellent. Tackle at about the 15-yard line. Quarterback picked up a yard and best there on the scramble. Quick toss. And it falls incomplete. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Central Florida is trying to take the lead here. Kicks away, and he's got it. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. 
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He scrambled, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. A great defensive end in, in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 9-7, Knights. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show, presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio, as always, to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The Knights have the advantage right now, and that's certainly not unexpected. What might be is there's not a ton of separation at the moment. But I think if you look at the first half closely, David, you see that there might be some signs that the gap might widen in the second half. Yeah, this is a team that we've seen score points in bunches. And now when you look at this second half, it feels like they took their opponent's best shot, and they're like, that's all you got? So I think in the second half, you look, they're going to be comfortable with what they've seen from the defenses and offenses. I think they're going to come out with a plan, look more willing to attack. They'll attack and have a lot more success in the second half and just hold on. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. This defensive end is having a very good day. I mean, this guy has just really separated himself from everybody else on the football field. It's just going to be a, an individual performance you're going to remember for a long time. And he's flying around this field. It feels like he's making every single tackle for this defense. He doesn't want to allow this offense to get the crowd into it right here. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Incomplete. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 25. Got a man tackled for a loss. Nothing the offense dialed up was enough to get by these guys. They're on right now. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Three down, three down. Central Florida is up two. Just throws this one away. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. Red two. And 
he's taken down at the 50. Number 43 brings him down at the 50 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Goes to the fullback and drops. From midfield, it's second down. Steps out of bounds at the 48 yard line. First and ten, ball on the 35-yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. And he gains around three on that keeper. Yeah, there's not much room there for the ball carrier. The safety did a nice job of stepping up from the secondary and made a good stop before he could get many yards. He's hit and taken down. Number 20 with the tackle. And this play is number eight on the drive. Central Florida with a two point advantage. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They run it left. He's pushed out of bounds around the 16-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. From the 11-yard line, first down. get back to the line. This is the 12th play of this drive. And down he goes at the two-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Roger, Roger. 43 the mic. Six man. Check curls. They run it for the first, and he stops. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. That'll bring up fourth and five. It's up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Knights continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down around the 37-yard line. Take him down immediately. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. They're about four yards away here on third down. Brought 
down after a nice run up the middle. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. Slings it. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Three down, three down. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Let's go! Complete. Brought down. Nothing doing. Number 57 makes the set call. Put the 36 yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Brought down at the 33. This is the ninth play of this drive. Watch two, watch two. Here we go, deep, all day, defense, all day, all day. Ready, play, 80. Uh -huh. Run, 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 run. He's taken down at the 22. Inside the 10, makes it out to about the 7. Tackle made just outside the goal line. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The Knights. Lead is five. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Roger, Roger. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. And he hits him hard at the four-yard line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Play 13 of the current drive. Three down, three down. Check 82, watch 82. And they'll get him in the backfield. Really good play here in run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. So the offense stays on the field to attempt this fourth down from the six-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Here comes the pressure. And he's immediately tackled. A score here might effectively end this one. Catches it. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. From their own 19-yard line, it's first down. Dog four. Green. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. Nice run there. With the tackle. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and two. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He's on the run. They'll make the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Hey, watch number five. Number five. Watch number five. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Man, two. Six. 
The laid hand off, and he's not going to get back to the line. Excellent punch. I tell you what, this is something Pollock could love. Crunch time in a defensive battle. Right, he's sitting back at that studio loving this. Two defenses that are really imposing their will on these two offenses. Maybe they can even score to help out one of these offenses win the game. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He's got it with room to run. He's to the 40. And he is drilled at the 45-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Makes the catch and look out. Very good tackle in space. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. He steps out around the 47 yard line. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage. And then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 45. That was a design pass play, but the quarterback decided to take it himself. Although I think this quarterback could be a little bit more patient in the pocket. He did move the chains. And a quick throw. Tackle at the 41. Number 24 with the tackle at the 41 yard line. That makes it second and six. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Goes quickly and it's almost intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Third down and they need to get it down to the 35. Throws it to the halfback and he's got it again. And he's taken down at about the 37 yard line. Tackle, the 37 yard line. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Four down, four down. Mike 41. Mike 41. Let's go. Green 95. Well, you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. A little over a minute in the game. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Brad, that's a huge first down for this offense. At this point, the defense's only hope is they've got to try to rip that ball away from the quarterback or the running back to get the football back to their offense because the clock now is a big factor. North Carolina State will take their second time out of the half. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. He's got him up in the backfield. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. NC State's called their final timeout. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Just a tremendous job by that defense. And their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it.
gets away, and it's a booming punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. Zips it to the back. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. From their own 32-yard line, second down. After positive yardage. And he stops the clock with a spike. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. Late in the fourth quarter in a one possession game and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here winding down the rest of this clock. And that should do it, our final tally in this one. Central Florida, 12, North Carolina State, 7. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.